you know, the reason we created the, the board game is your greatest asset lies between this year and this year. It's called your brain. <laughs> But it's also your greatest liability. You call your house an asset. You're an idiot. Just look at the statement of cash, which ways of cash flowing. So you create that board game, you re-educate re your brain. And to this day, Brian, this is 30 bucks. This is a silver coin, US silver, it's 30 bucks. When I was in, in, in my 20s, it was 50 bucks. This thing here is now $2,000, it's a gold coin. I bought my first gold coin for 50 bucks in Hong Kong. It was illegal in, in when I bought it in 72 to own gold. Imagine that it was illegal for Americans to own gold. So I had to smuggle this damn coin. It was a Kruger and into America. Now that gold coin is no longer in America. I'm not going to tell you where I've hidden it, but I don't really plan on being, you know, a victim. You know, I, I fought for my country. When somebody says, well, you're a traitor, I said, where were you during Vietnam? You know, I was fighting for my country. I was fighting for our freedoms. But the biggest freedom of all is the freedom of education, which we've lost. So that's why, you know, when I started this whole program, Brian, you and I have been friends for a year. We're on the same side. You cheer my success. I cheer your success. I, the reason my phone had to be changed from Kiyosaki to the real Kiyosaki is very simply, so and my friends got so jealous they said, I'm the real Kiyosaki. I'm going, you idiot. Do you know what I mean? It's called the Judas effect. We all have a Judas in us. Do you know what I mean? The dark side. The moon has a dark side. You and I have a dark side. But that's why, you know, ladies and gentlemen, the reason I I'm enthusiastically support what Brian Rose does and Lyndon Real, because he's been on my side, we're on the side of financial education for all these years. And the way we fight back is with knowledge, with real financial education. And the moral hazard is when we bail out the idiots of our country, the academics with the PhDs and the economists and all that, they're idiots. I can't believe people actually listen to the Federal Reserve Bank. I think there's what, 4,000 economists in there? Not a whole brain amongst them all? You know, Janet Yellen worked for the Fed and now the Treasury. Isn't that called conflict of interest? You know, this guy Biden, as Jordan Peterson says, if you think tough men are dangerous like Trump, Look at the damage a weak leader can do. And that's Joe Biden. So as you can tell, I'm not voting for Joe Biden this year. And uh, Donald Trump and I have been friends for years. And uh, we're real estate guys. We make billions of dollars. We don't pay taxes legally. Because as Marx said, a heavy and progressive income tax is necessary for the spread of communism. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree. The only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free. What Biden did was after cutting out the Keystone XL pipeline, he hired 87,000 new internal revenue search agents. They're going after our money. It's time people wake up and smell the coffee. And I would ask every school teacher in America to read this book, to find out who you are. You're a Marxist. I'm not saying you're bad people, but your ideas are Marxist. And that's what's killing, our, killing, killing America today and the world and England. And that's why I was so happy to be in Romania, because they're going the other way. They know what Marxism is like. Well, I, I'm going to promote myself here. This is Rich Dad's Prophecy, came out in 2013. And I said, why the biggest stock market crash in history is still coming and how you can prepare, prepare and profit from it. So this was 2013, but I just watched what happened after 2008. And, you know, that was a repo market crash. All these crashes were happening, but the average person without financial education unlike you and myself, has no idea what's going on. And the, going a long way back in 1965, I read this book here called The Communist Manifesto. It's only like 50 pages, but it's one of the most influential books in history. You know, I, I hope someday I can write a book as powerful as this one. But The Communist Manifesto is the manifesto of academics. And I hate to say that because that's the story of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So I went to military school in New York, you know, <clears throat> and my economics teacher had me read this book here. And I go, why are we studying him when we study Keynes or, you know, Malthus or those guys or Ricardo? He says, because this guy here, uh, Marx and Engels, they're the most powerful economists in the world. So in 1965, I was 18 years old in New York City. I came from Hawaii all the way to New York to read this book here. And I go, holy, holy Jesus, my family are communists. 
Now, it doesn't mean they're bad people, Brian. This is where I get my ass in trouble. You know, you call somebody a communist, and I'm a Marine too. You know, Marines, you don't take the word communist lightly because you shoot them. <laughs> so I, I spent two two tours in Vietnam as a Marine pilot. And so when I read this book here, I went, oh my God, communism is like Christianity or Buddhism or uh, Mormonism, whatever you want to call it. It's communism or economics is an economic religion. If you can understand that. So when I read this book here, it's only like 50 pages. I'm like, oh my God, my family communists. That, that's like saying, oh my God, I just found out my, my family are Mormons. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and you know how goofy it is here in America is my friends are Mormons, but they're, they're treated like they're communists. So that's the that's human nature is what I'm getting at, Brian. You know what I mean? If somebody is unlike you, we tend to want to kill them. So I read I read this book here and I went, oh my God, what's happening? You know, we're teaching communism to our kids. So let, let me just read one, you know, what Marx says, the abolition, <clears throat> the number one aim of communism is the abolition of private property. Okay, that's number one. Number two was taxation. A heavy or progressive income tax is necessary for the spread of communism. So I watch what person does, not what they say. So this guy, Joe Biden right now, he just hired 87,000 new IRS agents, internal revenues agents. That man, by his actions, maybe not in his, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he's got a mind left anyway, but anyway, he and I are the same age. And I, I act like him sometimes. But anyway, he hired 87,000 new IRS internal revenue agents. They're going after our money via communism. But the average American doesn't know that because they think, oh, I must pay my taxes. But if you look at history, and you know, you and I are both Americans, America was founded as a tax free nation. Yeah. It was called the Boston Tea Party in 1773. That was the foundation of America. And then these Nazis, commies, fascists get in there and they start teaching, oh, you should pay your taxes. I'm going, that's not what the Constitution says. Do, do you know what I mean? And, and so our problem, Brian, is in education. So that's why I wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I don't hate my family. I respect them. Like my sister is a Buddhist nun. You know, she, she could try to convert me to Buddhism, but I said, I'm a Marine. You know, we kill Buddhists, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, we, we all come from different philosophies. And I think the word that's missing today is respect for other people's philosophies, but also as a respect for our education. Uh, what, is our, what are our schools teaching kids today? Yeah. Well, yeah. Woke is gender identity. Is us, us, you know, but no, uh, what the heck are we teaching? Yeah. Black lives matter. Well, what about all lives matter? Why don't we teach them that? Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree, the only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free.